Hi, this is a question for my Q&A email questions on my email question list videos. Fantastic question and it's a pet subject of mine, a bit sensitive subject which I'm really passionate about. So I hope you don't mind this video might be a longer video than what I usually do because I need to get my opinion across on this question and thank you for um, sending in the email. The question is, did you start with a business plan? Well, the answer to that is no, I didn't start with a business plan. The reason for that is, is I just started where I was and I just took a risk and I just did it. As for a business plan, this is my confusion on business plans. When I watch Dragon's Den, which is a fantastic program and I love it for entrepreneurs and I really do love Dragon's Den, but I still get confused. I get confused about the dragons saying to the entrepreneurs about, do you know your numbers and your projection, your financial projection and your gross margin? for the next 12 months or five years? And do you know your numbers? And some of the entre entrepreneurs come stump at that. They haven't got the figures. They don't know the projection and the margin growth and the financial projection. And then the dragon says, oh, I can't invest in you because you don't know your numbers. You don't know your gross projection. Uh, project and you don't know your uh, financial um, outcome. Now that really confuses me because we don't know. I don't know my financial projection within the next 12 months. I'm a startup. I come from, uh, I've got a job as a cleaner, as, a, <laughs> as an office cleaner. I'm just getting starting and have you seen a business plan a business plan is a 80 page document what you've got to fill in about your business about your projects about your finances about where you think you're going to be in the next 12 months or next five years that is a 80 page document and you just Take one look at it and you think, oh my God, is this what it takes to set up a business? Is this what it takes to be an entrepreneur? I know nothing about that. That could put you off and that possibly has put many beginners off from being an entrepreneur. Now, this is my opinion. It doesn't make it right, doesn't make it wrong. It's just what I'm experiencing. I'm saying to young entrepreneurs out there and beginners entrepreneurs, forget about your business plan at the moment and that 80 page document because it would put you off. I do, I do not and I have not got a business plan. Yes, I've got plans in my business, but not an 80 page um, docu document. I believe, and this is my opinion again, that business plans were invented for big companies and big institutions, investment institutions to do deals with each other. Obviously, an investor, an institute who's going to invest in a big organisation, a big company, needs something on paper, needs a business plan, and they need to see if that company is dedicated and they have got 
ideas for the future and give them a financial idea whether they're worth investing. But that's for the big organisations and the big companies. Well, in that case, a business plan's possibly good. But for us small beginners, entrepreneurs, who's not got even started, that isn't for us. That's for the big guys. I don't know why they put it onto the small entrepreneurs. And there's a difference. Them business plans, I say they are for businessmen and business women who's already got a company, not for entrepreneurs. There's a difference between a businessman and a businesswoman than an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs, we start from scratch and create something and take a risk. We're not already established company. So business plans are for established a company. Let me give you it this way. If I give you a 80 page document and in that document, I teach you how to swim. I tell you in that document what to do with your arms and legs swimming, how to breathe and teach you on a piece of paper the how to dive in the swimming pool, how to do all the strokes, breath stroke, crawl, backstroke, butterfly. And I tell you in that document how to do it bit by bit, step by step. And then in the document, I give you a question and answer. And in the document, it says, now you know how to do the breaststroke. Can you predict how many lengths next week you'll be able to do? And you put on the um, form, oh, I'll be able to do possibly two lengths now I've learned from the document. And then the next question is, can you project how many lengths within the next three weeks would you be able to do? And you think, oh, well, now I'll probably be able to do much more than that now. So I'll probably be able to do maybe 10 or 20 lengths. And you go through the different swimming techniques and strokes. Now, I take you from that document, knowing and learning and projecting and predicting how many lengths you're going to do. And I take you to the swimming pool and I take you on the diving board and I throw you in. <laughs> What's going to happen? You're going to sink. You're going to drown <laughs> because that paper and that document and that prediction is worthless. Why? Is because to be able to swim, you can't learn to swim by just reading it and predicting how many lengths you'd be able to do in an 80 page document. No, you've got to actually get in the water. You've got to actually do repetitious, start learning how to swim and coordinate your legs and your arms. And it takes time. It, you've got to have confidence within the water first and gradually do it step by step. It's about repetition. And that what entrepreneurship's about. Building your business from scratch. One block at a time, one stone at a time, building it, building it to build a foundation and to build something solid. It's about repetition and gaining experience. That's what I've done. That's what I do. And start from where you are. Don't think you need the business plan because that will put you off. It would put me off 
just by filling it in alone. I don't know how long it would take me to fill in a business plan and eight page, probably maybe two hours. I wouldn't even start to fill it in, to be honest with you, but that would put you off. I say to beginners and entrepreneurs, start from where you are, get starting and do it. We're entrepreneurs, we're risk takers, we're creators and do that. Be an entrepreneur and get started and make the mistakes along the way, which I'm doing on this entrepreneur journey. That's why this channel is about. It's about me doing it and learning along the way and experiencing it. So sorry for the long video but it is really a, a pet subject and a sensitive subject and still confuses me to this day. If there's anyone out there what uh, has any different opinion, please contact me. There might be someone out there says, uh, especially maybe someone from Dragon's Den, wouldn't invest in me because they'd say, oh, he doesn't know his numbers, he ain't got a business plan, he doesn't know his projections. He doesn't know his financial growth. We're not investing in him. He's going to fail straight away. He's not, an, he's not a business person. And there's no way I will ever invest my money into him. Well, I'm not a business person. I'm an entrepreneur. You're either investing in entrepreneurs or are you investing in business people? That's what confuses me. I'm an entrepreneur. I don't say I'm a businessman. So if that's the case, don't invest in me. But my business ventures are already taking off from scratch and doing well. Um, my cash flow and my profit is in the green. I'm not in the red. And yes, I've got plans. I've got plans. So you might call that a business plan. I don't know. But I've got plans to expand it. But I'm doing it as I go along and learning as I go along. And things change. When you write something down in a plan, that means it's solid. That means you stick to that plan. I'm finding out in business as an entrepreneur, but you can't. You've got to keep flexible. You've got to keep changing your plan. You've got to change it. The price structure changes. The economy changes. The spending of the uh, people changes. We get COVID-19 stopping everyone. Now, if you've got a business plan and don't say about COVID-19, does it? Act of God. How can you have a business plan? I just I just don't understand it. So great question. and Thanks for that question. Again, apologize for the uh, video being so long, but it's a very sensitive subject on mine. And uh, answering the question, did I start with a business plan? As you've heard in my video, no, I didn't. Start from what you've got. Start from where you are and just start. That's my advice. Hope you enjoy this video. Keep watching my entrepreneur journey. Subscribe to me. Give me thumbs up and give me some comments. And watch my videos on me doing the entrepreneur journey, experiencing being an entrepreneur as I go along with no business plan. Okay. Remember, guys, you take care of each other. Bye-bye.